Welcome to our final part three segment of Michael Jackson's music career of 1983. In this video, we are going to get into the relationship with boxing promoter Don King, Michael's involvement with Pepsi, and his international achievements from the Thriller album. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy learning about the rest of Michael's explosive music career of 1983. September. It is announced that the Jacksons will tour the U.S. in 1984. Michael is on the cover of Us and Black Beat magazines. At this point, 12 million copies of Thriller have been sold, as well as 12 million copies of the singles, 4 million in America alone. The LP is certified platinum in 15 countries, US, 8 times, Canada, 4 times, UK, Holland, Australia, and New Zealand, 3 times, Japan, Germany, France, Sweden, Belgium, Switzerland, Spain, Greece, and South Africa, 1 time. Gold in 3 countries, Denmark, Italy, and Israel, and silver in Norway. The LP has received some 37 awards and has reached number one in eight different countries. The singles, Billie Jean and Beat It, have reached number one in nine and seven countries, respectively. September 17th, Lydia Murdoch releases a song called Superstar. A female's reply to Michael Billie Jean enters the top 100 singles chart in Britain, peaking at number 14 and remains on the charts for 10 weeks. September 25th, Michael's Billie Jean performance from the Motown 25 TV special is shown on the Emmys Awards presentation broadcast, where it has received a nomination for Best Individual Performance on a Variety or Music Program. Although Michael loses the Emmy to Leonton Price for Live from the Lincoln Center, the TV special itself does win an Emmy. Autumn Promoter Don King advises Jake Coleman of Brockville to seek a multi-million dollar sponsorship deal from a soft drink company. After initial rejections by Coke and Pepsi, King pushes Coleman to try again, and in doing so, secures a $5 million contract with Pepsi. September 30th, the Jacksons sign boxing tycoon Don King as promoter of their forthcoming tour. October, Michael is on the cover of People, Interview, Globe, and Rock and Soul magazines. Got to be there, Ben, LP, a double album Michael Jackson cassette is issued by Motown. October 3rd, Say Say Say, the Jackson-McCartney duet is released as a 7-inch and 12-inch single by Parlophone in Britain and carries Ode to a Koala Bear on the B-side. Say Say Say, Ode to a Koala Bear is released in the U.S. by Columbia Records. October 4th. Shooting of the Say 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 promotional film begins. It casts Michael and Paul McCartney as traveling con men and has a cameo appearance by Linda McCartney and Latoya Jackson. The video is filmed in Santa Ynez Valley, California, where Michael will one day own Neverland Valley Ranch. October 8th. PYT, Pretty Young Thing, by Michael Jackson, backed with the Jacksons. Working Day and Night, released this month by Epic Records, enters the pop singles chart, peaking at number 10 and remains on the charts for 16 weeks. There is no video to accompany the single. A Shay Michael Jackson Smedley enters the top 100 singles chart in Britain, peaking at number 45 and remains on the charts for 4 weeks. October 12th. A 12-inch version of Say Say Say, O to a Koala Bear is released by Columbia Records. Say 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 enters the top 100 singles chart in Britain, peaking at number 2 and remains on the charts for 15 weeks. October 22nd. Say 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 enters the black singles chart, peaking at number 2 and remains on the charts for 20 weeks. October 29th. PYT, Pretty Young Thing, enters the black singles chart, peaking at number 46 and remains on the charts for 8 weeks. October 31st. Pipes of Peace by Paul McCartney, which includes a guest appearance by Michael Duetting with Paul on Say 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 and The Man, is released by Parlophone in Britain and Columbia in the U.S. November. Michael Jackson 9 Singles Pack is released on red vinyl in Britain. Michael Jackson 14 Original Greatest Hits with the Jackson 5 LP is released by K-Telt Records. Michael and Diana Ross are on the cover of Ebony magazine. Thriller, Things I Do For You is released in Britain. The Jacksons become interested in a sponsorship deal with Quaker Oats for the Victory Tour. However, the deal, which would have been worth 40% more to the Jacksons, cannot be negotiated because Don King has given exclusive sponsorship rights to Pepsi-Cola. This is the start of many disagreements agreements in the Jackson camp, which continue up to the opening night and beyond. November 6th, Michael is approached to appear at the Royal Variety performance but has to decline due to other commitments. November 11th, a $5 million endorsement contract is signed between Michael Jackson, the Jacksons, and Pepsi-Cola involving sponsorship of the Victory Tour and two TV commercials. November 19th, Thriller enters the top 100 singles chart in Britain, peaking at number 10 and remains on the charts for 25 weeks. 
November 30th. The Jacksons and promoter Don King hold a press conference at New York's Tavern on the Green to announce plans for the Jacksons' forthcoming victory tour, which will reunite Michael with his brothers, including Jermaine. All the brothers attend the press conference and all wear sunglasses. Don King does most of the talking with Michael, only introducing his parents and sisters who are in the audience. Pepsi's sponsorship of the tour is also announced, and Michael promises Roger and Rico of Pepsi that he will make Coke wish they were Pepsi. December. Beat It by Michael Jackson wins in five categories at the Billboard Music Video Awards held in Pasadena, California. Best Video, Best Male Performance, Best Use of Video to Enhance the Artist's Image, Best Use of Video to Enhance a Song, and Best Choreography. The Michael Jackson Suite at the Hotel Royal Plaza in Florida's Disney World opens. The suite, which can be rented if not occupied by Michael himself, houses many of his awards, including Grammys and American Music Awards. Michael says, I'm honored to share what is mine with the world. I'm here for the people, and what better place to display my personal memorabilia, which is so special to me, than Disney World, where children of all ages can share my joy and and deep appreciation. The making of Michael Jackson's thriller, the video cassette has accumulated record advance orders of over 100,000. It will eventually become the biggest selling music video in history with sales in excess of 1 million copies around the world, over 130,000 of which are sold in the UK alone. The video showcases the thriller video itself along with a behind the scenes look at the special effects used in the film, dance rehearsals and impressive makeup artistry used to turn Michael Jackson into a werewolf. Michael is on the cover of Vegetarian Times, Right On, Rolling Stone, and The National Leader. December 2nd. A year and a day following the release of the Thriller album, MTV debuts The Thriller Video, a 14-minute short film on the LP's title track, which outshines even the brilliance and excitement of Billie Jean and Beat It. At a cost of $800,000, 18 dancers who have years of professional training are recruited for the video, but according to choreographer Michael Peters, Michael is better than any of them. At this time, still a practicing Jehovah Witness, the video carries the following disclaimer from Michael. Due to my strong personal convictions, I wish to stress that this film in no way endorses a belief in the occult. The reaction of the video is instantaneous and unparalleled. In the three months following its release, aided by the unprecedented music awards it wins in the following two months, the Thriller LP sells an additional 7.5 million copies in America alone. December 3rd, a nine-pack collection of Michael's best-selling epic singles pressed onto red vinyl enters the Top 100 Albums chart in Britain, peaking at number 66 and remains on the charts for three weeks. Michael appears on the front cover of Record Mirror and Rolling Stone magazines in a drawing with Paul McCartney. The Tube, a British music TV program, shows a special screening of Michael Jackson's million-dollar epic thriller at 1 o'clock in the morning. The exclusive proves so popular that the public demand forces The Tube to repeat it the following late evening. December 8th, Michael Jackson leaves for New York to promote his new video, Thriller. December 10th, Say Say Say, the Jackson-McCartney duet which entered the top singles chart at number 26 on October 15th, hits number 1, holding its position for 6 weeks and remains on the charts for 22 weeks. This single becomes Michael Jackson's 7th top 10 hit of the year, setting a record for the most top 10 hits in a single year by one artist, a record previously held by Elvis Presley and the Beatles. December 12th, Say 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 is certified gold. December 14th, the making of Michael Jackson's Thriller is released, selling over 500,000 copies in its first month. Billboard magazine's end-of-the-year charts shows four Michael Jackson songs ranking in the top 20 best-selling singles of the year, Billie Jean 2, Say 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 4, Beat It 8, and The Girl Is Mine 20. Michael achieved this feat with his brothers in 1970 when their first four released ranked in Billboard's top 20 year-end charts. Michael Jackson ends the year by holding the number one spot on both pop singles and pop album charts with Say 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 and Thriller. In America, Michael is also the first act of the 80s to have three records hit number one during one calendar year. He has also had seven top 10 hits in one calendar year, a record second only to the Beatles who logged 11 top 10 hits in 1964. Thriller spends all 52 weeks of 1983 in the top 10 of the pop albums chart, 37 weeks of which are spent at number one. It also becomes the first album in history of recorded music to start a year at number one and end the same year at number one. In Britain, Michael has three entries on the year's British bestsellers chart with Thriller at number one and the Jackson 5's 18 greatest hits at number 10 on the album's chart and Billie Jean at number 17 on the singles chart. Michael's dominance of the music industry this year around the world also becomes apparent with a long list of honors, including Best Artist, Best Male Vocalist, and Album of the Year in Japan, Album of the Year and Single of the Year in Australia, 
Artist of the Year in Italy, Record of the Year in Greece, Album of the Year in Holland, Most Important Foreign Album in Spain, and International Artist of the Year in Brazil. The Brazilian fans also named a dance after him called Funk Jackson. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And be on the lookout for the next timeline of 1984. Thanks for watching.